back at Hellfest 2022 for this uh, 15th anniversary and it's a great honor to have uh, Tim from the band Rise Against right here. So how are you doing Tim? I'm doing great, merci. Yeah, this is great to be here, to be back at Hellfest after so many years. We haven't been on tour, you know, and we've missed this festival. This is such a, an epic and legendary one. So yeah, it feels good to be back over here in Europe. It feels good to be back here in France uh, and it feels good to be back here at Hellfest. And we know it's not the first time you come here and we know we have a good his history with the festival and uh, you always play at the Warzone, so do you have a specific feeling about this uh, stage because it's dedicated to punk rock and hardcore? Yeah, it, it's so much fun to be able to play a stage that kind of has that going on, you know, because that's the world that we feel kind of most comfortable in. Um, and that stage like everything else here at Hellfest is just fucking crazy. You know what I mean? They have like the, the razor wire and the barbed wire and yeah. the fire and like it all feels like you're playing inside some sort of movie set, you know? And so right. we had no idea when we first went over there, you know, to play the show last time and it like took us all by surprise. It was a very late night too. I think tonight will be late too. Um, yeah, you're headlining tonight. Yeah, and so <laughs> it, it will be, I remember the crowd, I remember thinking there will be nobody here, still here at midnight, you know what I mean? And we'll play for, you know, people who have gone to bed. And I was wrong, because <laughs> yeah. there was a lot of people, and it turned out to be one of the more memorable shows of the tour. But that's the overall feeling. Uh, from last week, we are here, and uh, the overall feeling is like everyone is really happy to be back at the festival. Mm -hmm. Everyone is happy to uh, party again, to see bands, even the bands right here at the artist area. Every, the, the overall feeling is like, very optimistic and very kind and very cool yeah I think you're right I think that's very true I think people because we've been away from it for so long we have come back to it with a new appreciation or like a renewed appreciation for it um, it's made touring more fun you're more grateful to be out here to see our friends again it's been a bit of a family reunion Sure, and every, uh, as you said, every band has to uh, show and defend a new album because for the last two years, had to write new songs and everything. So what did you do for the last two years during the COVID period? Uh, me specifically? Yeah. I went back to school. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, uh, I was 21 when the band kidnapped me and we signed a record contract. And so I left school behind, but I had already done it a little bit. And so I always talked about resuming um, and so that's what I did. So I got back into classes uh, and spent like a year doing that, uh, going for my degree. I'm still in it right now, actually. I'm like okay. uh, doing less of it because I'm busy out here. Sure. But um, I'm still going for it. So I did a little of that, spent time at home with the family. It was like a long overdue break for Rise Against. It was, for a band like us, we've been doing it for 20 years. It was the break that we were never going to take yeah, voluntarily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a forced kind of sabbatical you know yeah and do you want to have like a degree like Greg Graffin and Dexter Holland <laughs> I don't think I'll go for a doctorate I'll be happy with just a degree in sociology that would be great okay cool and uh, talking about gears uh, I saw like uh, an interview uh, of you talking about Ernie Ball mm -hmm. and uh, apparently the first time you heard about that was at the war tour yeah that was the first time I became really intimately familiar with Ernie Ball is because they were out there, Ernie Ball was out there. Uh, prior to that, I think that when I started playing guitar, I played whatever strings were just the cheapest, sure. you know? And yeah. I remember even buying single strings, you yeah. know, back in the day, <laughs> uh, just to replace a string here and there, because you couldn't afford a whole set of strings. Um, but I think I was always gravitating towards Ernie Ball, and then I became, I became aware of the brand and realized these are the strings that I'm almost always using. And so when they agreed to help us out, you know, and, and, and hook us up, then that was great because they were the strings that we always relied on. So, and those are the strings we've been playing for like 20 years. Sure. And what is your uh, gauge tuning and uh, string oh, yeah. tension and everything? So I just do like a 10 gauge, like 10 to 46. 10 to 46? Yeah, like yeah. Standard. Standard, yeah. And then, but I, we rise against tunes to E flat. Mm -hmm. So our first record was in standard E. But everything after that, we tuned to E flat. We heard some bands that just sounded like a little bit darker, a little bit heavier, you know? Um, it made it, uh, gave me more options as a vocalist too. Yeah. And so we've always been an E flat. And, and then every once in a while, we have like a drop D tuning song. Okay. So maybe like five or six out of our whole 
catalog like with some drop D tuning. Okay. When do you change up your strings? Like every show, every two shows, or? Almost every show. Every show, okay. Because the shows are really, like, they're just hot and sweaty, yeah. and like, there's some <laughs> travel in between. The guitars just go the and sit. The guitar very hard. Yeah, yeah right, okay. exactly. Yeah, they just, I think that it's probably best for us because they're really getting a lot of use. Okay. So, yeah. Good. Thank you very much oh, yeah. for your time, and I uh, appreciate that you're here, and I uh, wish you a really great show tonight, headlining the war zone, and uh, all the best for the rest. All right, well, merci beaucoup. Thank you to all of our French fans. Like we've had such an incredible time here in France, and everyone's been so supportive of the band. So thank you, Rise Against French family, and thank you, Ernie Ball. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, not the right, you know, to be